Welcome back. I'm Gov McNulty. High school baseball in full swing today. We'll start out in Kingsford where the Flivers were hosting Marquette. Now on the bump for the Sentinels, Isaac Sarlis, and we will pick up the action in the bottom of the first. Nolan Hendrickson grounds one to short, but he is speedy and he beats the throw over to first. Garrett Brown scores in the process and we are tied at one. Now Marquette would answer in the next half inning. Chase Nemi with the base hit right up the middle. Jake Toyrus gets the wave around third, and he scores to put Marquette back on top, two to one. Bottom two now, and Kingsford plates another run as Brown grounds it over to short. It's bobbled, and everybody is safe, including the run at home. We are all tied up again at two. The Flivers not stopping there. Andres Finley with the oppo taco base hit here. Brown crosses the plate again, and Kingsford takes a 3-2 lead. Then the bottom half of the fifth, Gavin Trevilian laying down the bunt right back to the pitcher, fielded cleanly, but the throw off the mark. Two more runs cross on the air, and the Flivers go on to win this one 6-2. Also this afternoon on the diamond, the Nagani Miners playing host to the Hancock Bulldogs, and hold on to your hats. It was that type of day out there. And we pick up the action in the bottom of the first. Nagani up 1-0. Aiden Steele with a line drive out into center. That'll score a run as Carson Bellinger moves up to third. And Steele advances to second on the throw. Miners take a two-zip lead. Next inning, Matthew Peters leading off for Nagani. Flies that one into right. It's going to get hung up in the wind, but comes down in fair territory. Peters has himself a leadoff double in the second. A few batters later, Peters on third with Morgan Robar at the plate. There's a pop fly in the center. Enough to get Peters home from third, and the Miners lead it by three. Hancock scratches across two runs in the fifth, but Nagani hangs on to win this one, three to two. But then in game two, the Bulldogs took it to the Miners by a final score of 13 to one. Bryce Hanner drove in five runs on three hits in the game as Hancock splits the doubleheader with Nagani. Then another doubleheader in Norway this afternoon. The Knights have no trouble with North Central in either game. They take game 1-10 zip and shut out the Jets in the second game as well, winning that one 15-0. Then in softball, Nagani sweeps Escanaba in a pair of four-run ball games. Miners win 5-1 and 12-8 over the Eskimos. In Superior Central at Rapid River today, the Cougars victorious in both 26-11 and then 5-1. That one cut short due to weather.